Town TV. Please watch, like, subscribe. Let's get the clip out there. I've just grabbed Andy Norfolk, club captain, pitting a concern. I was like, hey, come away. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a chat. Um, how are you, Andy, sir? Yeah, not bad yourself. Always good, mate. Yeah, yeah, always good. Obviously, a bit weird not having the football and all that, but I'm sure as a player, you're... Yeah, well, I think it's this time of the year we won't be playing football anyway, so um, not much different. Um, but, but, I, but when we talk about the end of the season, oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the harsh bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, it sort of been worse because I've banned for a few games before, was, so yeah, I, I, I haven't played since I think February the 4th or something like that myself, so it's been quite, quite uh, long and extended, but probably feels good for my body, to be fair. I mean, my calves were screaming before um, the season finished, so yeah, I feel, feel rejuvenated. That's good, that's good. And obviously keeping in shape, ready for pre-season? Yeah, yeah, some shape. Um, been trying to lose a bit of weight, finally, some might say. But yeah, been going out on the bike, just for something to do, really. Um, obviously, with being, being locked down, getting out and doing something to keep me, keep me sane, keep, really. Keeping yeah. the man ticking and yeah, that. Yeah, been doing a few bike rides a week and then um, a, few, a few bits in the garden. Uh, and I'm going to ask the question, Andy, right? I know it's all, like, hypothetical. Would you, got, would, would you have got promoted? I think we would have, yeah, but like you say... You, it's hypothetical. No yeah, one it, I'm no sure one like. Yorkshire Amateurs will think they will get promoted, Peniston, Liberty, yeah. the, the rest of them. So, but yeah, we had, we had a favourable looking running. Um, I think we'd played all the all the top teams, so we had a we had a good looking running. Um, and obviously the top teams had each other to play, so I think, I think we'd have followed the virtual lads and got, got ourselves promoted. And, and obviously, club captain, as we stand there um, in the middle of the pitch now, there's a clubhouse missing. Obviously, you've, yeah. been, a, you've been here for a while now. I must be excited by... Uh, I, I yeah, think, definitely. I, yeah. It's like a new area. I can feel some kind of like brewing. Yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be nice. For the, I mean, I've been looking at the plans for the clubhouse one that Pete's been showing on them videos and it, it looks really good. Um, it does look weird without the clubhouse being here. It does, um, doesn't it? And the girls not being up and stuff. But Let, Let's just get a look at that because we have, we have actually flashed, as you can see, some workers over there, volunteers. As you can see, clubhouse missing and it, it, it just feels weird. Just feels weird. Yeah, it does feel strange. But yeah, the pitch is looking grand as always. Kendrick does a real good job on it, so could probably do a bit of rain to help him out. Um, but yeah, pitch looking bang on again. Usually, he's, but I think it's best best in the NCL, probably best in the Evo stick as well. Oh, I mean, it's a cap, it's a cap. Yeah, it's a cap. But like you say, he's there every day, isn't he? Yeah, every day. Yeah, he puts the, like, he's got his hose out now. Um, so yeah. So, so obviously, I, I, I've kind of like come on board now, doing whatever I'm going to be doing next season. And I, I, I was saying earlier, my, my aim is to catch the full season, as in the highs, the lows. Yeah. What, what are we thinking about next season after such a good year? Brett's first full year as gaffer. Yeah, well, I think, the Knicks. I think it'll be the same again. Um, I just look to win the league. But yeah, yeah, forgetting the top three, that don't matter, does it, if you don't win the league? Just you get there and get, get promoted promotion. either way. But yeah, I mean, we know what we've got next year. We're playing the same teams. Um, I'm sure teams will strengthen, and the teams have already announced some signings. Um, bit bizarre to, uh, a bit, bit, bit bizarre uh, announcing your signings, but we don't know when we're going to go again. Uh, potentially, but you know, each, each of their own, isn't it, with teams? Um, if they want to put the signings down on paper, they can. I've got no problem with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure Brett will do the same as last year where he won't announce it until they're signed. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've just been trying to get names off him and he's very much yeah. like that until I've actually got got it over the line, should we say. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I know a few times, Lewis Dennison does it a few, a few times where he changes his mind so, and comes back to Brid. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just one of them until you get the name on paper. But it's each to their own. You know, teams do things differently. I'm sure they felt like they, they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them players and it's exciting for them because some, some of them to be fair to your challenge some, you know, they've signed some local players so why not announce them yeah why not why yeah. not indeed so do you reckon we'll be uh, kicking off on time or um, probably not I reckon see what obviously it depends on what Boris says done it a lot um, but I reckon mid, late September we might go again yeah um, it, might, it, might, it might be difficult for the non-league grounds to do it because obviously we haven't got the resource in the Premier League um, it's probably not feasible for them to have it with no crowd here because obviously then running costs will kill, might kill Pete a bit, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see. But yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting for the go-ahead, waiting for the text off Brett's training. And there's yeah. new, new coach on board as well. Yeah, Lamps, uh, he's been down a few times to train with us, so we know, we know what Lamps is about, he's, he's a good lad. He'll probably bring something different to what Tom had brought, but in the same vein, I'm sure he'll put the same work in the top. Yeah, edit. develop you in there and get it yeah. pushed push forward. Yeah, definitely. And with, him, with Lamps being a centre-mid as well, myself playing centre-mid, I'm sure where wonders with me. Stu, Lou Taylor, whoever else um, in that middle of the pitch like Bowles already does. So. Well, like, like I said, one thing I look forward to is obviously when we get there and we, we know the squad and, and potentially a couple of new signings, maybe. maybe yeah. Be excited, man, be excited because he was there this year. Yeah. A, li a little tweak and you know. Yeah, I reckon definitely what, if we could add one or two real quality players, we'll definitely be up there again. Um, maybe look to score a few more goals than last season. Or the season just gone, score a few more goals. Uh, myself included because I didn't get any last year, but that doesn't count the stats anymore. So. How many other cars do you get? 
Uh, I think I only got about six or seven to be fair. I think I did well last year. No uh, sin which I did shout I wouldn't get. Yeah, wouldn't that surprise me? Because I've seen you a couple of times where you are quite what's yeah, the word? I think I was um, nailed on to be the first one in the sin but I think Lou Taylor beat me to that. Um, but yeah, it, but to be fair, when I, when I used to get start losing me with the refs, it used to take away from my game. So. All that didn't score me this season, I thought I had a half decent season. Yeah, I think you did. Um, in a bit of a different role to what I normally play. Uh, the season before I was getting forward a lot more, but this season I was sitting, sitting in and sitting in front in of that. Fraser and Jenks a bit more. And Jack, when they, he played at the back, I think it works. I think defensively we were a lot better this year. Uh, I think we had 10 clean sheets, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think one got one percentage of the season went five games without conceding, which in my time we usually don't even go one game without conceding. Well, so. well like I said, I thought it was all on, man. I didn't know what you're thinking. This season was just going to be kind of like... Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. You know, but as is life a bit obviously let's yeah. get through the Covid situation get you all back to match fitness in a way get you on that training field and there uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully yeah. we stand there in 12 months time be nice with a trophy but like you say <laughs> we would tip promotion yeah, wouldn't we right well yeah again like, we're going to be getting more clips as uh, obviously next season progresses